Hello all you beautiful people welcome to Beyond Tarot and today I am going to do a very exciting reading for people who are born on 6th, 15th and 24th of any month and I am going to do readings for the year 2023. So I hope you all are very excited to know what is there in store for you. So in today's reading I will be talking about money, mind, career and relations. I'll be taking a guidance card from the Osho Zen, one guidance card from the Moon card and one guidance from the Angels. What's there in terms of money for you? In terms of money, I get the Chariot card. When it comes to Chariot, it is talking about your inner balance and outer balance. So there is a connection of yin and yang energy which is trying to say that you are a very balanced person when it comes to your finances. When it comes to money, I can see that your focus is exactly on your career. You know that you have to reach this particular destination. You have to make this amount of money and you are going to balance your work life and your personal life and finances are going to be very free flowing this year for you so your focus is extremely good where finances are concerned what is going on in your mind again if you can see the pentacle card it's the ace of pentacles so in your mind you are also thinking about starting a new venture or probably investing the money that you have in a project or maybe a property related thing or buying a land so these things are going on in your mind where you will be investing your money in and also you know you will also be thinking about if you're connecting with different kind of people you want to connect with someone who is going to be you know like-minded and someone who's going to help you grow financially in your life uh, when it comes to career so i can see a lot of new beginnings for you so in terms of career also i see the sun card the sun card talks about all the beautiful possibilities all the kind of connections new connections new beginnings you know happy go lucky life where things are flowing very easily so can you see free flowing cards for you everything is coming naturally and falling place for you so career wise uh, you're going to be do extremely well you may also travel with uh, you know maybe your company could send you to a warm place so can you see the sun around uh, it could also be a vacation with your family so you could also be taking your family along where your career is concerned so you might be traveling with them where your uh, your boss might send you so travel along with family is also indicated uh, when it comes to relations um, somewhere here uh, the relations are somewhere draining you down so if you are disturbed in your relations somewhere if you feel that you've been going through a lot and you can't handle your relations it's time to take a short break go solo travel solo just take a break, go to the Himalayas, go and rest and come back rejuvenated. So in terms of relations, go a little easy. Don't, you know, force your relations. Just relax, take a break, come back and you'll definitely feel better when once you do that. So uh, let's see what guidance you have from the Osho Zen. Uh, the Osho Zen talks about harmony. So when this card comes in a reading, uh, you know, it's trying to guide you that activate your third eye chakra and activate your heart chakra because somewhere you need that peace of mind, you need that calmness so that, so when you are rejuvenated, when you're going here for this trip, you are going to feel harmonized, you're going to feel satisfied, you're going to feel relaxed. So basically this year is talking about whenever you feel you know totally bogged down or you feel disturbed just take a break just take a sabbatical and go and relax and come back uh, when it comes to the moon card let us see what it's trying to say so the moon card here says it's time to release your negativity the full moon in scorpio so i can see a lot of water energy in your cards which is saying that uh, you must when once you go you take a vacation 
just remove all that stress it's time to release all your negativity in this year come back rejuvenated and see how this year is going to be fruitful for you so let's see uh, what this angel azure is trying to tell you azure is trying to tell you your desired outcome will occur in the very near future have patience and faith and don't try to force it to happen so i told you don't force any relation don't force anything that is not in your control and definitely things will fall in place in the year 2023 for you so i hope this reading really resonates with you and i'm so excited to see all the comments from you guys in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll, I'll be right back with other interesting videos for you till then stay tuned and bye bye